I have the cup of tea and I'm the video is a little bit late but it was very interesting because I had an impromptu performance during the week at Smart Lab seminar in Carsevine and it was very exciting uh, performing and talking about stories and the meaning of stories and listening to other people and their PhD ideas and their PhDs and what they're going on with and it was a really great time. Plus I want to wait till I got my hair cut. My niece Adele did a great job. So, my mum and dad were full of stories. They, they, they were always telling stories. And my mum came from Cork City and her stories were much more to do with the present and her life in Cork. Whereas my dad were a little bit more historic and more the heritage, I suppose, of Port McGee and County Kerry. And one story that he was... He found very, very important, and I know this because he always wanted me to learn this. And the day I was able to recite the punchline back to him, he was so excited. He was really delighted that that was now ingrained in my mind. So the story is all about um, a fella called Sean Rua O'Sullivan. It can be Tomas Rua O'Sullivan as well, because I think he's quite a mythical character in a way. He's, he's a scholar. He's Irish and he's not of the gentry he's the common man's hero in a way he's not rich but he can read and write he can write poetry and this was a, a very exciting uh, type of person so a lot of kind of myths have been put onto him in stories and there's different characters so a young man whose neighbor was dying whose neighbor jackie was dying we'll say was sent off to get the priest to do the last rites so the young man was heading off and he was heading down the road and who did he meet but Sean Rua O'Sullivan. And of course he told Sean Rua where he was going. Jackie was very bad and he was getting, going off to get the priest. Now Sean looked up at the sky and he said, right. And he wrote on a piece of paper and he said, if the priest goes with you immediately to give Jackie the last rites, throw this note away, say nothing about it. But if the priest delays any time at all, give him this note. So the young man went off, got to the priest's house, knocked at the door, told the housekeeper what was going on. The housekeeper brought him in. He had to go to the priest and say, my neighbour Jackie isn't very well. Would you please come and do the last rites? So the priest had a look at his watch and said, actually, it's just coming up to my dinner time. I'll, you go home and I'll be there. I'll follow you after my dinner. So the young man reached into his pocket and got the note and it said, weak be the patient, low be the sinner, let the soul have its chance, but you'll have your dinner. Signed, Sean Rua Suluan. So that showed how intelligent Sean Rua Suluan was. And I think what dad was trying to get across is that you have priests and the clergy and uh, they're constantly trying to get their congregation to live a non-human more of a divine existence or a, an angelic manner. And that's not gonna happen because we are human and we have appetites and we're, you know, we are human. And this idea of constantly trying to get people not to live huma humanely is impossible. Especially when the priests are more, are just as prone to human appetites, shall we say, than anybody else. And I suppose along the way, getting this video together, I was thinking, I can see a new meaning in that. Weak be the patient, low be the sinner. Let the soul have its chance, but I'll have my dinner. It can go either way. And it's this whole idea of social media. You know, we're looking at social media. We're clicking on things. We're sharing things. We're getting offended by things. We're getting worked up over things. We're um, saying amen to things that we don't really know are true or not. And... In a way, whatever about the patient, about the sinner, about the soul, it's almost time to sit down and have your dinner. Be human. Be nice to the people around you. Take that time to be with your family rather than strolling through. Some of these things are very important. Some of these things are real. But some of them aren't and you need a bit of discernment between the two. So, Gorev Mahogavar Fab, thank you ever so much. And I'll be back on track next week. Take care now.